Um, tell me why my client is trying to blame me for her not losing weight. Every time I talk to this girl, I swear it's like a million excuses. Oh, Nita, I don't have the time. Nita, I don't have the money. Nita, I don't have the equipment. Just because of her, I'm making this video today. So let's get started. Just to clarify something before we work out, abs are made in the kitchen. Abs are made by your diet. You can do all of these workouts, but if you're not eating right, you won't see results, okay? Now let's get into the workout. And the advice is also for me as well, but let's get into this workout. First things first, this one is a little bit of a doozy. We're gonna be targeting the obliques. So just to slow it down, this is what I'm doing. Squat, turn, knee drive. Squat, turn, and knee drive. I feel like the map off of Dora the Explorer, but yeah, this one is kind of hard to do. Be careful because you don't want to fall back. I did this a couple of times and I'm not going to lie y'all, it targets your quads a little bit too. Next up, we have flutter kicks. Keep your core tight and you want to get a good balance. For some reason, my camera was messing up during this time, but ignore that and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So we're going to Flutter kick for however many seconds you want. I normally go for five. Then we're gonna go and, uh, and do a knee drive and then a toe touch. Again, flutter kick, knee drive, toe touch. All right, knee drives, knee drives at an incline. time to take these shoes off because for the next workout you need some expensive shoes or some shoes that aren't cheap because the bottom will start flopping off of them but we're going to do the same workout and we're going to do knee drive knee drive knee drive knee drive and then alternate now when you're doing this you're supposed to bring your feet back like simultaneously like at the same time let's get the patterns down for this next workout we're going to do under under both okay one two both one two both and that's the tempo i kept for the rest of my set now let's target these obliques we're going to lean to the side hold it tense your core up and then we're going to do some dips again this targets the obliques if you don't know what the obliques are that's the side walls of your abdomen Flutter kicks again. Um, this is kind of tricky as well because you're going to have to have really good core stability and balance. Now, I do this a couple of times. You're really supposed to go a little bit further back, but for beginners, I like to stick like to this level. I'm going to show you in a little bit. You can go all the way back there if you want to. You just have to make sure you have a lot of balance. Let's get down on this ground and let's do some uh, plank toe taps or toe touches, whatever you like to call them. But I like to do this um, a couple of times. And if you want, this camera is really irritating me, but if you want, you can uh, change your stance to get closer to your toes. Again, during all these workouts, you wanna keep your core tight. All right, I feel like I may have to slow this one down for this exercise. So we're gonna cross over twice, okay? And then we're gonna toe touch make sure you keep your core tight cross over twice toe touch cross over twice and then toe touch so I want you to keep this tempo for the rest of the exercise this next workout is going to be two different variations the first one is going to be more for like if you're a little bit more flexible and then the second variation is going to be for, you know, my not so flexible Bettys, um, like me sometimes, but you just basically want to bring your knee to your chest and then go into a reverse lunge. Let's do it again. Knee, knee, reverse lunge, knee, knee, reverse lunge. And basically that's it. Now this one may look like you're doing something strange for a piece of change, but trust me y'all, this works. Ladies, you should already know how to do this. Spread the legs, touch them toes. Okay. Not in that way, but you know, keep your core tight and we're going to do two different variations for this one as well okay up down let's try it again down up down and up 
I call these windshield wipers and I was struggling y'all. So you wanna go from left to right or right to left, whichever one you're more comfortable with, but then you wanna repeat that motion again to the other side. If you can't, just shorten your range of motion by going halfway. Russian twist with a little flavor on the end and by flavor, I mean, of course, toe touches. So if my camera will stop acting the fool, we're gonna go from side to side and then toe touch. Let's lay it down, baby. And get ready for these crunches. Now, y'all be like, girl, crunches are so basic, but for me, I like them. There's nothing wrong with them. You just wanna make sure you don't have any anchors so it can add another level of difficulty to the workout. And while we're down, we're gonna target the upper abs. I remember I did this before on the cable machine, but don't go all the way up. Just pretend like you're reaching for the sky and pretend like the bottom half of your body do doesn't work. <laughs> That sounds so silly, but yeah, y'all, that's it. All right, y'all. Woo, child. Don't sleep on no equipment workouts. But, oh, that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know if y'all want to see anything else from me. Remember, no excuses. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.